the kids are really used to having their environment here at Davis teach them things, uh, whether it's the garden outside or how they compost or their recycling moment or things like that that they do. So it was really interesting when we had talked to them at the end of last school year about what is a green school. And really, I don't know how much the students had actually thought that their building could be green. You know, they could see it in terms of understanding that it was a plant or a tree, but they didn't understand that their environment could make them healthier or save energy. They just hadn't, you know, made that connection. So it's really kind of exciting that this classroom has the opportunity to do that for those students. For us um, in the district, every little dollar in terms of saving money, and this is a math, science, and technology magnet school. So it draws from all um, aspects of our school district of 22,000 students and so we're very excited to be partnering with LPA um, and Wendy Rogers to develop green technology and we are just thrilled because this is an amazing classroom. It really takes the dedication of a group of volunteers and at the U.S. Green Building Council that's what we have is a fabulous group of really dedicated volunteers. So, um, you know, big shout outs go to Sunbelt Controls who donated the monitoring system that we have in the room, McCarthy Construction for bringing in really big companies like Berg Electric and Pacific Rim Mechanical who truly went above and beyond in what they were able to donate to the classroom. Um, and we've had a lot of other, even architectural firms, uh, Gensler, HMC architects, studio architects, volunteering on the committee. Um, the passion on the community meant that we had the support of a whole series of vendors. So the lighting, the solo tubes, the, you know, Pat Craft donated the carpet, um, the wall covering that we have on the wall. Everything was donated by vendors who said, yeah, I'd love to participate in something that could make a difference and that could teach kids. And so that part of it actually was remarkably easy. Um, doing the construction this summer was a little tougher. Um, but it was all good, you know, fortitude, and we, you know, got it done and we're really excited. Um, there are probably a couple spots in the wall that are still a little wet from paint, but, you know, we got it done and we're really excited that now it's something that we can share um, with the other 28 school districts in Orange County. We basically took everything down to the studs. We implemented simple things like insulation. There, none of these walls in the school have insulation, so that's going to do two things. It's going to help regulate the temperature in the classrooms, but it's also going to help you control the sound levels going back and forth between the classrooms. Then and the, the other big items that we did in there, which had a lot of impact, was, was implementing uh, new solar tube daylighting systems and implementing a displacement ventilation system. I mean the solar tubes are the biggest hit at the kids. It's the most favorite thing that the kids see is they are just blown away that what looks like a light fixture is actually daylight. One thing is you'll notice is depending on the light levels on the outside there is a specific diffuser on the roof that kind of focuses all of the light into a specific point. Um, going into that solar tube then down at the diffuser at the light level it, it almost looks like little fish eyes on this piece of glass, but what that's doing is rather than having a spotlight, it's taking the light and throwing it around the classroom, which uh, more evenly distributes that light. And then, as all teachers are finding now, is all of our classrooms are being taught with technology. So we actually have systems integrated into those solar tubes that actually help dim those down and kind of cut off the severe light that you may be getting that you don't want on your, uh, on your screen and be able to dim it down to a level where you can be able to interact correctly with your smart boards. A lot of the work that we do, sometimes it's just a, a drop in the bucket. You know, and it's, it doesn't have enough of a ripple effect. But doing this has the ability to really affect lots of people that normally wouldn't even um, have the opportunity to experience uh, great sustainable design, right? So that even though this is just a little gesture, it's going to go a long way for people to understand what it can do. Uh, and I was just asking Wendy, you know, um, how can we keep track of how, not energy-wise, but how this changes the, the students or how it affects the way they learn, you know, because that's really the power of this design, right? It's not saving energy, because that's great, but that anybody can do, but it's how you can make the teaching experience better and how the students can enjoy their school a lot more. And so hopefully one day she'll be able to go to a school like this. That's, and that's what it's all about.